One of the major components of the bulldozer are idler wheels. Once you have the tracks, the tracks are driven by a sprocket, but on the a, on a bottom side of the track, there's idlers upon which the tracks simply roll as a, as a tr essentially a track that keeps the, the tracks from falling off to the side. The idlers are started by using half in, a quarter, sorry, quarter inch flat sheet steel out of which we cut discs. The disc is a circle and there's two discs per idler. There's a, a tube which is a 10 inch pipe that is the inside part of the idler upon which the track actually rolls. It's essentially a sandwich, it's like a, like a wire spool, but basically two pieces of quarter inch plate sandwiching a big 10 inch pipe which is about 10 and a half inches, inches wide. So that's the core of the idler. The end plates subsequently have four holes drilled in them or punched out on the iron worker so that the bearing, the big three inch bearing, can be attached to the outer side of the idler. One bearing goes on the outside, one bearing goes on the inside. We are welding the end plates of the idler to the, to the pipe section on the inside so we cut out a large hole on the end plates so that we can weld the, the roll, the pretty much call it the pipe on the inside so that the welds do not interfere with the tracks rolling. But after all is said and done, you've got an idler that has two bearings. It locks to the shaft, the idler shaft, with set screws. And one remaining step is the fact that the, the idler lips are bent out. The outer, outer sheet steel is bent out to hold the track in between and to bend that out, we use simply a four foot pipe wrench. Put the idler in a vise, really push your weight on, a, on the pipe wrench, and you bend out the lips about half an inch, three quarter inch. Now there's one piece I left out at this point, and that's how do you get the, the pipe section centered so that the idler spins without wobbling up and down. Now to do that, what you do is you put, attach a shaft to a table, you put the, the idler assembly, the bearings, you slip it onto the shaft and you roll it. You'll see it might not be particularly uh, centered. This is prior to welding with the bolts in place holding the bearings. But what you do then, when you see it wobbling, you take a hammer and when you, where you see a, an up part, you will tap it gently with a hammer what will happen is even if the bolts are on relatively tight, little taps will move the, the center uh, pipe section into place inch by inch and you can actually use a dial indicator to make that process very specific. So we're actually getting these, these idlers centered to about 20 thousandths of an inch and that completes the idler.